Okay, so good afternoon po. So ang topic po natin for today is all about um, overview of health informatics. Okay? So this will be our topic outline. We will be mainly uh, talking all about health information technology, healthcare software system, health information ecosystem, as well as the advantage and disadvantage of cloud technology, the health information system in the field. Okay? So when I say health information technology po and health information management, combination po ng health information technology sa health information management uh, that will become health informatics. Again, the combination of health information technology and health information management is health informatics. Okay? Uh, now let's talk about the health information technology. So pag sinabi po natin health information technology, this one is defined as the health information, the area of uh, information technology involving the design, development, creation, use, and maintenance of information system for the healthcare industry. Meaning po, ang information technology, ito po yung mainly sa pag-design ng system, sa pag-develop, as well as sa pag-create. And also, minimaintain din po nito yung information system na ginagamit sa different hospital institutions. So that is the information technology or the HIT, health information technology. Okay. Aside from that, um, automated and interoperable healthcare information system po, they are expected to. So syempre, pag sinabi natin automated or uh, health information system, ibig sabihin yan po yung mga system na ginagamit sa mismong hospital institution. So expected po sila to perform this following function. Ano po yun? Number one is to improve the medical care. So, ibig sabihin, mas ma-improve po yung responsiveness ng ating uh, medical professional okay, to improve medical care. Pangalawa, to lower the cost. And then, pangatlo po is uh, magkaroon ng increased efficiency. And then, pang-apat, to reduce the error. Sabihin po, mabawasan yung mga pagkakamali. And number five po, is uh, to improve the patient satisfaction. Sabihin, masatisfied po yung ating mga pasyente doon sa healthcare services through the use and through the help po ng ating automated healthcare information system. Okay? Uh, aside from that, meron po tayong healthcare software system. Okay? So, first, we have here the EHR or the Electronic Health Record. Itong EHR po or itong electronic health record, ito po yung pinaka-central component ng ating health information technology infrastructure. Okay? We have here the um, EHR okay? or the EMR. Okay? So, isa lang po sila, EHR or EMR. So, that is the electronic medical record. So, dito po nakastore lahat ng information ng pasyente digitally. Okay? So, dito nakalagay yung Patient name, address, um, sign and symptoms ng pasyente, yung diagnosis po sa pasyente, dyan po yan lahat nakalagay sa EHR or sa kanyang electronic medical record. Okay? And also, this EHR or electronic medical record, it can be shared among medical practitioner po. So, pwede po itong um, i-share or nakakakita po nitong electronic medical record na itong nakaka-access po nito is yung iba't ibang mga medical professional. For like, uh, example, I am medical technologist. Kaya ko pong ma-access yung electronic medical record ng pasyente na yun sa mismong hospital na pinagkatrabahuan ko. As well as the nurses na humahawak nun sa pasyente na yun, na-access na po yung information. So, uh, nagkakaroon ng better management of data. Okay? So, that is the electronic medical record or electronic health record. So, that is HR. Okay? Aside from that, we also have here po the other key elements ng health uh, information technology infrastructure. We have here po the PHR or the personal health record. Kung saan, this is a person's self-maintained health record and the health information exchange. So, dito po, ikaw sa patient, uh, nakikita mo yung mismong health information mo. Nakikita mo um, yung diagnosis ng doctor sa iyo as well as the laboratory result digitally. Okay, so that is PHR. Okay? So, di ba, um, kasi ngayon, most of the time, hindi talaga nakikita. More on, ang makikita mo yung mga papel-papel, di ba, laboratory. So, na, uh, nakaprinted, di ba, yung nakikita mo. But we also have here po the PHR. So, makikita mo siya 
digitally, okay, by the use of the system. Okay, so that is PHR. Aside from that, we also have here the Health Data Clearing House. Pag sinabi naman po nating Health Data Clearing House, this is a group of health organization that enter into an interoperability pack and agree to share data between their various health IT systems. So, ibig sabihin naman po nitong health data clearing system natin is um, yung ating uh, mga healthcare institution or yung ating mga hospital po is nag enter sila dun sa interoperability. Okay? Kung saan, pwede po silang mag-share ng different data and also nung mismong system na yun. Yung system na po yun, yun yung mismong magpapa-improve doon sa function and um, capability ng mismong hospital. Okay? So, ayan po siya. So, the, ang tawag po dyan is Health Data Clearing House. Pwede silang mag-exchange ng system. Okay? Siyempre, para sa mas uh, ikagaganda at ikabubuti ng mismong hospital na ito. Okay? So, that is Health Data Clearing House po. Next, we also have here the um, healthcare software system. So, meron po tayong tinatawag na Picture Archiving and Communication System, also known as PAC, and then VNAS, or the Vendor Neutral Archives. Okay? So, dito po, itong dalawa na to, this is a system, itong dalawang system na po ito, dito po nakastore okay, lahat ng medical images. Okay? Itong system na po ito, dito nakastore lahat ng mga medical images. And itong system na to, ito po yung nagpa-process ng mga different medical images. So, di ba, most of the time, Saan po merong medical images? Anong department? That is the radiology, cardiology, and neurology. So, itong dalawang system na to, ito po yung nagmamanage ng mga uh, different medical images. The box and the VNA. Okay? So, this is the example po na ating box and VNAS. So, they are a system po kung saan sila yung nagmamanage as well as nagpa-process ng different medical images. Okay? Aside from that, um, uh, PAX and VNAS, uh, of course, as a healthcare professional, po, pwede natin silang ma-access through mobile application ng DDCOM, uh, DDCOM, that is during the operation, and also web, through web. Okay, so ayan po siya. And uh, aside from that, we also have here the health information ecosystem naman. Okay, meron po tayong tinatawag na health interoperability ecosystem. Pag sinabi naman natin health, interoperability ecosystem this is composed po of individuals okay so when you say individual ayan yung ating mga uh, healthcare professional okay system and processes that want to share exchange and access all forms of health information including discrete narrative and multimedia so pag sinabi po natin health interoperability ecosystem Dito po nagkakaroon ng exchange information ng data ng pasyente. Okay? So, for example po nito, um, sabihin natin may buntis. Okay? Yung buntis na yan, lahat ng medical record niya po is nandito sa antipolo doctors kasi doon siya monthly nagpapacheck up. Ngayon, nung kabuanan niya, uh, lumabas siya, may pinintahan siya or nasikato so siyang importante doon sa mismong gulakan. Okay? So, ngayon, uh, doon siya inabutan ng kanyang panganganak. So, siyempre po, dun sa hospital na yon hindi lahat, okay? hindi po nila, sabaga may hirapan silang i-access. Pag nilanggap nila ang patient na yun, hindi nila alam yung mismo health record ng patient. Ano kayang gagawin nila dito? Is it sarayan ba nila? Or in a normal delivery ba nila? Kasi wala silang nung mismong health record. But, by the use of this health interoperability ecosystem po, kung saan yung different healthcare institution nagkakaroon ng sharing of information ng pasyente, so, pwede po nila itong itawag doon sa, tatanungin nila yung patient or yung buntis na yon na nasan lahat ng record mo, ng health record mo, sasabihin lang ng buntis na nandito po sa antipolo doctor. So, tatawagan nyo ng bulakan. And then, uh, of course, syempre kailangan may uh, consent ng patient. So, pag natawagan na po, automatically, pwede yung isend nitong uh, antipolo doctors lahat ng medical record ng pasyente doon sa bulakan. So, ngayon, alam na nung uh, na nasa bulakan, alam ng, ng mga medical professional doon, paano nila ma-assess yung pasyente. Okay? So, ganun siya ka-advantage. Okay? Di ba? Uh, yung advantage na ibibigay nito. So, that is the health interoperability ecosystem. So, pwede po silang mag-share and mag-exchange ng uh, health information. Okay? Health information ng mismong pasyente. Okay? 
Kasi nung nagtatrabaho ako before sa hospital, ang nangyayari, nahihirapan i-access nung mismong hospital na yun, yung pasyente, nahihirapan po silang i-access, lalo na kapag yung pasyente galing pang probinsya, and then wala siyang dalang any medical record. And by that time kasi, manual pa. So, hindi nila alam paano yung gagawin sa pasyente kasi nga walang dalang medical record, di ba? But by the use of this health interoperability ecosystem, ba ang laking tulong nung naibibigay niya? Okay? So, mas uh, napapagaan. Okay? So, also, this one, sabi nga natin, creation, exchange, and use of health information or data. But, syempre po, uh, in this health interoperability ecosystem, may sinusunod po tayo dito ang technical standard as well as the policy and protocol. So, syempre, uh, hindi na po yan basta-basta mag-e-exchange. Kailangan nga sabi ko sa inyo, may consent po yan ng uh, pasyente. Okay? So, ayan. So, syempre, sabi ko, pinaprotektahan po natin yung privacy and confidentiality ng no, uh, patient information. Okay po? Next. Uh, we also have here the health informatics in the clouds. Okay? So, 83% po ng ating healthcare organization or ng ating mga hospital institution is gumagamit na sila ng cloud-based application. Okay? And aside from that, uh, we also have here the cloud computing. When you say um, cloud computing, this is a method for delivering IT services in which resources are retrieved from the internet through web-based tool and application. So, for example, um, Accidentally, na-delete mo yung mismong health record ng pasyente. Okay? Uh, pwede mo pa rin po yan ma-retrieve through the use of the cloud computing. Okay? But of course, um, that is uh, true web-based pa din. Okay? So next one here is, okay, so ang health informatics in the cloud po, pwede natin siyang uh, ma-access through internet po, gamit ang laptop, Mobile application, tablet, okay? Next. So, ngayon po, pag-usapan naman natin yung advantage ng um, cloud technology. So, this one po, it offers a single access point for patient information, okay? So, ito po, na-allow nito, okay, na yung mga doctor, ma-access nila yung laboratory result ng pasyente. Okay? And of course, dito makapag-spend po sila ng more time para makapag-decide kung ano yung gagawin nilang treatment doon sa pasyente. So, yan po isa sa advantage ng cloud technology. Bigay tayo ng example. Um, for example, yung doctor na to is ang duty niya ngayon ng 8 hanggang 12, uh, 12 noon is nasa antipolo doctors. And then, 1 to 5 sa St. Luke's po siya. Okay? So, syempre po, hindi niya na, uh, no need na siyang pumunta pa or bumalik pa doon sa antipolo doctors para kunin yung resulta ng pasyente at bigyan yung pasyente ng um, treatment. Okay? So, by the use of this uh, cloud technology, kahit nandun po siya sa St. Luke's, okay, makikita niya lang or i-access niya lang through web, okay? makikita niya na po ano yung laboratory result ng pasyente, ano yung naging resulta. So, ma mas marireview niya ng tama. And makakapag-spend pa siya ng oras para kung mas maisip niya ano yung ibibigay niyang treatment doon sa kanyang pasyente. So, dito, advantage number one is integrated and efficient pagdating po sa patient. Okay? Uh, kung meron tayong advantage, meron din po tayong disadvantage. Okay? Ang disadvantage po natin is the potential risk to personal information. Of course, dahil nga po sabi ko sa inyo, di ba, yung nakaka-access ng patient information is yung iba't ibang medical professional. So, for example, I am medtech, na-access ko po yung information ng patient. Uh, nurse na nag-handle, na-access niya rin. So, it may be subject to thief and also na uh, violation and privacy ng confidentiality ng patient. But of course, uh, dito po sa cloud technology, may sinusunod tayo tamang encryption as well as the proper data disposal and security feature para maprotektahan natin yung privacy ng pasyente. Okay, next. Advantage number two naman is the better management of data. So, dito po, mas nagkakaroon ng better management ng data. So, di ba, uh, dito nagkakaroon kasi ng accumulation of electronic health record. 
So, na-access mo lahat ng information ng different patient. So, by that time, for example, nagkaroon ng um, pandemic tulad ngayon, COVID-19. So, pwede mo po dyan, using that different uh, information ng patient, pwede mo ma ma manage okay, or makita dyan na, ah, okay, uh, most of the patient ng COVID, ng merong mild symptom ng, ng COVID, dito nag-response sa gamot na ito. Okay? So, nagkakaroon ng more opportunity po para ma-identify mo yung trends ng mismong disease and crisis na yun. Okay? So, that is the advantage number two. Better management of this. And, kung merong advantage, meron din disadvantage. So, this is number two disadvantage naman po is the cloud setup seems cumbersome. Ibig sabihin po, uh, syempre, di ba, nagkaroon ng transition kasi dito. So, before, kung traditional, more on manual, di ba? So, pag nag-shift po into automated system, minsan nagiging difficult siya doon sa mga uh, matatanda na doon sa mismong trabaho. Okay? So, yung mga older, yung older people or um, older practices yung kanilang kinasanayan, biglang mag-change into automated. So, medyo hirap po sila doon sa transition na yun. So, yan po yung disadvantage number two natin. Okay, next is... Uh, Health informatics in the Philippines. So, before po, ang health informatics, pinapractice na po talaga siya dito sa Pilipinas. That was as early as 1980s. Okay? Yung ating mga practitioner or yung ating mga medical doctor, okay? um, na-access na po nila ito using the IBM compatible machine. Gumagamit po sila before ng word processor. Kung saan, doon nila ini-store yung patient information. Okay? But of course, iba po yung noon, iba yung ngayon. Kasi yung ngayon, mas uh, automated na. Okay? And aside from that, meron po tayong tinatawag na CHIPS or the Community Health Information Tracking System. Okay? Itong CHIPS na po ito, this is an electronic medical record kung saan ito din po nakastore lahat ng information ng bawat pasyente doon sa mismong community. So, ginagamit po ito primarily doon sa community or doon sa mga disadvantaged area, or yung mga liblib na, na lugar. Okay? So, primary itong ginagamit sa ating mga barangay health center. Gumagamit po sila ng CHITS, or Community Health Information Tracking System. So, ang CHITS po, this is also one of the top three e-government project ng Pilipinas sa Asia-Pacific Economy Cooperation Digital Opportunity Center. Okay? So, ito nga, sabi ko, ang CHITS po, this is developed through the collaboration ng Information and Communication Technology. Okay? So, primarily designed po siya sa Philippine Health Center sa mga disadvantaged areas. So, sabi ko nga po sa inyo, more tong ginagamit sa ating mga um, barangay health center. Okay? And also, this is currently utilized po in 111 government health facilities. So, kung before daw, kapag manual method, Natatagalan sila ng limang minuto, 45 minutes. Pero ngayon, by the use of CHIT or uh, Community Health Information Tracking System, lang click lang po nila sa computer, makikita na nila yung record ng pasyente. Kasi before, yung ginagamit nila, di ba, pag pupunta ka ng barangay, hahanapin yung file mo. May record ka na dito, opo. So, hahanapin nila anong pangalan mo. So, minsan yung ibang folder na misplaced, hindi na mahanap sa so sobrang katagalan, okay? But by the use of these cheats po, isang search lang nila, their name, okay? Idot lang nila dun sa computer or dun sa system, automatically lalabas na po yung record mo. Ah, okay. Last kang nagpunta dito sa ating health center, nagpa-check up ka noong 2015. So, nakikita na po. Okay, so ganun kabilis or ganun kaganda yung naidudulot nitong cheats dito sa uh, mga barangay health center. Okay? So, may papanood po ako sa inyo. Panoorin nyo po ito. It's all about... So, as I was saying, this is the cheats. Okay? So, di ba nakita nyo naman po kung kanina, um, sabi nila, pag naghahanap ng record ng patient, hahanapin pa nila sa folder. Sa isa pa, minsan daw nawawala. Then, fill up ulit. But by the use of these cheats po, isang encode lang nila, makikita na po nila yung record ng patient. And also, kaya din po nilang i-follow up yung mga pasyente na um, hindi na bumabalik. Okay? So, nagkakaroon ng better management po ng data. And mas also, nai-improve po yung health information technology na. Okay? So, health informatics in the Philippines po, despite daw of the development ng health informatics, um, yung progress po 
ng health information technology is still um, medyo mabagal pa rin daw po yung progress. And this is the three reason po bakit hanggang ngayon hindi ka gan ah, hindi ganun kaganda yung progress ng ating health informatics pagdating sa Pilipinas. Number one po is nagkakaroon ng lack of human resources interest in the field. Meaning, hindi po lahat interesado. Okay? Pangalawa, um, benefits of information technology do not seem apparent. Hindi po nakikita ng ating mga health sector yung naibibigay na benefits nito sa uh, health. Okay? Kaya parang hindi nila nabibigyan ng sobrang interest. And then pangatlo po is iniisip nila yung budget. Kasi pagka siyempre bibili ka ng system or na mismo information technology, okay, uh, most of the time po malaki yung ibinabayad dyan. Kasi that is a system eh. Diba? Pag system or yung mismong web-based, okay, um, mahal po yan. Kasi ang hirap yun i-create at the same time. This is for the improvement and better, mas napapagaan po kasi nito yung trabaho ng ating mga health professionals.